Welcome to Earthspeak, where we're helping you cultivate direct connection to your intuition, nature, and spirit. I'm your hostess, Natalie Ross, and today's episode is a channeled message solo through me from the plant spirits of St. John's Wort, St. John's Wort, Golden Wort, you might know it as, and Stinging Nettle. I actually went and sat with these plants in the physical connection with them on a mountain and spoke with them. And this episode is a sharing of what messages and inspiration they had to give to me and pass on to you. All the truth you have within, 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 within. I channeled this in June 2019. It's now November 2019 as I'm recording this. So I've had a few months to integrate this experience and actually take these messages to heart. So I'll share after this channeling a little bit about what that's looked like, what kind of results I've had, how I did it, etc. to maybe give you some inspiration about how to integrate whatever messages you received from these plant spirits into your own life too. Before we get into today's episode, I want to just share a little bit about what's been happening in our members only collective, where we are meeting every week for live online gatherings. We're doing grounding, clearing and invocation rituals so that us mostly highly sensitive beings, but all are welcome, can just learn how to feel safe and at home in our bodies and how to cultivate and bring our intuitive gifts into our everyday lives in practical, tangible ways. And this collective is such a sacred space. I just am so grateful for it. And the the people are just amazing. But what we've been doing is lately, we just finished a three part course because collective members get access to our courses as well. And this was taught by Naomi Love. It's called inner alchemy. And this inner alchemy was teaching people how to transmute inner resistance. And resistance is that experience of when you want to be doing something, and you're just don't do it and you don't know why you're not doing this thing that you really want to be doing, that's an example of resistance. And it actually shows up, resistance shows up in so many different ways. So one of the cool things Naomi helped us do was learn how to identify and recognize resistance when it's influencing our lives. So from then, from that point of having that awareness of being in the experience of resistance, we were able to engage with the resistance and use this seven step ritual that she shared with us to go deeper and into the deep need beneath the resistance that wasn't getting met. Because beneath all resistance is a need that's not getting met. And so she showed us how to engage with that deep within and then give that need whatever it wants, whatever it needs, tend to that need. It's so powerful. And often what happens is when you just take that time to engage with the resistance and go with the need and tend to that on a deep level, that charge dissolves and that resistance disappears because now the need is being met and that opens doors to new possibilities. It opens the doors to momentum and energy to move towards that which you were desiring or wanting to do or be. Or it helps you even shift into greater clarity about something that you thought you wanted but didn't truly want so that you can move towards what you actually truly want. It's just really powerful. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that is actually, you could call it shadow work. It's going into the parts of ourselves that we want to deny or other or push away or suppress and then tending to them and bringing them back into awareness, back into wholeness, tending to their needs so that they can be received and met in the complete wholeness of our being, of our experience. And then Beneath all of that, there's always a gift. There's always a new opportunity. So we just had this amazing course. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you, students. Thank you, collective members who joined us. I've received some really potent feedback about how powerful this experience has been for people. They are transmuting deep stuff that's been blocking them and holding them back from various different things, creative projects, relationships, um, mothering, parenting, all these amazing powerful experiences. So I just want to share that with you because I don't really talk about the collective that much. And that was a very exciting thing that just happened. You can actually take this Inner Alchemy course yourself if you would like without having to join the collective. It's on our website in our shop under courses, Inner Alchemy. You can check it out and take it. And actually, if you take the standalone course, you'll 
I'll receive an invitation to test out the collective as well. And right now that's the only way the doors are open. Otherwise, if you want to join the collective, you can get on our email list and you'll be the first to know when the doors do open and you can join our email list at earthspeak.love. I'll put the show notes, uh, the link in the show notes. So yeah, just go to our website, sign up and hopefully I'll see you there someday because it's a really powerful, potent place where we're connecting and engaging directly within ourselves, with our intuitive gifts, with spirit, with the earth, and then with each other. And it's such a beautiful space. So thanks for listening. I'm really excited to share this episode with you. I want to just remind you to pay attention to any sensations, information, ideas, memories, thoughts, feelings, etc., that pop up for you. Because while I'm sharing what I channeled from St. John Swart and from Stinging Nettle, it's not the end all be all. It's not the ultimate truth. It's not the like one thing that they have to offer. This is just my experience of their energy and what messages they had for me. And oftentimes when I receive a message, it's also something that other people can benefit from. So that's why I'm sharing. And since I've had a few months since I recorded this to integrate this in my life, I will come back at the end and share about how I've done that and what that's looked like, what that's how these messages have really influenced my life since June. It's now November. So it's been a little while and I've had some time to really take them in. I will be invoking the many different spirits, spirits of the land, the spirits of these plants we're talking with, spirits of my guides. And I invite you to invoke your own guides as well and to also invoke the spirits of these plants as well. This is really an invitation for you to step into direct connection with these plant spirits. And when you do this, I would love to hear when you're listening to this episode and afterwards, what messages did come through for you? What sensations did you have? What memories came up? What did connecting with these plant spirits directly or hearing what I shared bring up for you? Tag us on Instagram at earthspeak. I would love to hear. And Yeah, I'm just really stoked to share this with you. So thank you so much for listening. I welcome in the spirits of this land. I welcome the spirits of this mountain and of the water trickling beside me. I welcome in the spirits of these trees surrounding me. Sweet gum olive, fir, pine, oak, laurel. I welcome in the St. John's, or as some might say, the St. Jones wort herb all behind me. I welcome in the moss. I welcome the sky, the air, the earth, the water the fire of the sun, the light. Mm. I welcome in the nettle, the stinging nettle I've just spotted and the ferns just beyond the stinging nettle. I welcome in the insects, the animals, the fungi of this land the microbes on every surface and deep in the soil. I welcome the soil. I welcome the rocks. I welcome in the other unnamed plants of this land and the wind. I welcome you to come join me here too, across the time-space continuum. I headed into the mountains, not knowing what was calling to me, or what I might find, but simply following the impulse, the magnetic pull and turn to go this way or that. I get in my mind's eye a picture of a road, a direction to go. I head out trusting the journey, noticing the signs when they show up, sometimes literal road signs, 
sometimes just a knowing that here is where I need to turn. I drive through the city, out and beyond, into the hills, up the mountain, twisting, turning through the trees with the dappled sunlight, hitting my eyes and the breeze freshening my mind. And it was driving along the other side of the mountain after crossing the ridge top that it caught my eye. A bright yellow splotch surrounded by many other bright yellow splotches shining out from the green. I turned around, found a place to park, I went over to these happy yellow flowers. I recognized them. Hello again, I said, to these St. Joan's wort flowering bushes, beautiful roadside herbs, just sitting there doing their thing waiting for nothing and everything all at once. And then again today, I felt the mountains call to me, not knowing what I would find or or who it was calling my name. So I trusted and I went. I saw a vision of the exact mountain to go to. So I went there. I headed up the path thinking I was going to one place But an unexpected turn took me to a different destination. And there I saw her again. St. John's Wort. A beautiful, luscious swath of this flower, this plant, this herb, this friend. These St. John's Wort flowers were growing amongst the trees with just enough sunlight to make to make it work i saw that bright yellow splotch and i knew i had been called and some part of me was calling to this st john's wort once again st john's wort i would like to connect with you are we connected oh yeah I want to connect with you too, I hear it say. What is it in me that has been calling to you such that that you would call to me too? Something in you, aka me, this is St. John's Wort speaking. Something in you is asking for an experience of the land. And we are something that can stand for that experience. Something in you is wanting to be seen and we can help you with a willingness to be witnessed, to be seen. It's hard not to be seen when you're bright sunny yellow across a sea of green like we are we can help you to be seen we can help you and all who listen to you to be seen those who feel the call and need to be anchored, grounded, rooted, protected and yet share in the world We can help open, open the parts of you that are ready to come out, show themselves, and be shared. We can help you be seen on the scene, see and be seen. Open your sunny eyes. We can help you. We can help you realize what is yours to do. What is yours to do? 
What else would you like to share, St. Joan's Wort? Anyone who's asking for an experience of the land can come find us, stand by us, connect with us, and see through us to experience the land. We help with experiences, experiencing. Ooh, I'm getting a sense that St. John's Ward helps connect you in to the experience, not just to the thought of the experience, but to the actual, actual experience. St. John's Word also says, we can help you take it one day at a time. One step doesn't have to be a whole thing. It's one day at a time. You're being here, here in the experience. We help you be here one day at a time, they say. They also say there's more than one way to do one day at a time. Find your own way. And always through play. The plants are always talking about play. Find your way through play of one day at a time, they say. (laughs) Mm. I'm getting the sense that they can really help you stand up tall and be willing to be witnessed, to be seen, and also to receive the witnessing, the attention, the being seen fully in the experience of sharing and receiving and being received. I'm getting the sense they help you come full circle with that into the present moment. What else would you like to share, St. Joan's Wort? It's not too late, they say. It's not too late to be seen. It's never too late. No Instagram algorithm, no Facebook feed, no current events, no news. There's nothing that needs to stop you from being seen, witnessed, and heard, and received. It's your time. Your time is now. You are the one to choose to step up. That can be simple, small, in your own home relationships, or on a bigger stage. Either way, you're being seen. The right way will come for you. It doesn't have to be big and do fancy, flashy things. Pay attention and notice. Notice who's waiting. Who's waiting for you to show yourself and to receive your being seen. I offer the gift of being seen and received opening gateways of giving and receiving, being seen, being received, helps you to receive. Receiving isn't always easy. When there's blocks and plugs and beliefs telling you it's not okay, we help take those away. We help you say, yes, it's time for me to receive. St. John's Wort, St. Joan's Wort, what other energy would you like to transmit today? I just want to say, as St. John's Wort, I just want to say thank you for helping me to be seen and heard and received. It pleases me. Thank you, St. John's Wort. I will take you up on helping with that gift that you give of being seen and received, witnessing and being witnessed. I'm very grateful, thank you. Thank you for all you do, you beautiful, beautiful plant. Spirit of stinging nettle, I would like to connect with you. Are we connected? Yes. I am in awe of your beauty being in your presence, of the sunlight pouring through your leaves 
and of the bursts setting forth your pollen like smoky wind. Nettle, you are so beautiful. The sunlight streaming through your seeds and flowers, your tall stalks swaying in the wind, your dangerous edge. What would you like to share today? Open your cells, 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 open, open to the swaying wind, the breeze, open, expand beyond the horizons, expand. open to bliss. Thank you, Nettle. Before we get into the integration part where I talk about how these messages have really, and energies have really influenced my life, I want to take a second to share with you about a heart fire activation ritual. I recently channeled this ritual in a live call in our collective, and it was a direct connection with the spirit of fire. Afterwards, the spirit of fire was very clear that it wanted me to share this with the broader world, not just with our collective. So I'm offering this in our shop under rituals, heart fire activation ritual. In this experience, you will tend to the fire, to the spark in your heart. You'll activate your own personal direct connection with the spirit of fire. You will then connect to a collective of other kindred spirits who are tending to their heart fires in a good way. And you'll learn how to work with the fire for clearing stuck old blocks, stagnant energies, and stuff that you're just ready to get rid of and release, transmute. Your direct connection with the spirit of fire will be forever activated and available to you as a resource for the rest of your life. And you'll learn how to tend to this fire in your heart, to this spark in your heart, in an ongoing way, because this fire will always be part of your relationships of spirit guides and helpers. This is a guided audio experience that is extremely powerful and potent. You do not need to be in any direct physical vicinity of fire, but if you would like to, that's okay too. You can light a candle, you can be near a fire, near your hearth, near your fireplace, or just call in the spirit of fire. It's always, always available to you. I'm also including a free bonus that is from our collective calls about how to help stuck spirits cross over because in this heart fire activation ritual, there will also be a space to help any ancestors who have not yet completely crossed over to do so and to become well and to really go to the other side where they can become well-heeled ancestors that are supportive and guides to you and to all the other people in your lineage. And so I'm including this bonus audio to really help you understand this process and bring this into your everyday life because it's a really powerful, powerful tool that I think everyone needs to have. You can learn more about the Heart Fire Activation Ritual and purchase it on our shop at earthspeak.love. Just click on our little shop. It's in the ritual section. And I really hope you'll engage with this experience if you feel the fire calling to you. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy this integration experience coming up in this episode. So again, I would like to invite you to share whatever messages or experiences came through for you. Post them on Instagram or Facebook and tag us at Earthspeak. We would love to hear about your experience connecting with St. John's Wort and Stinging Nettle. And as I said, I would share a little bit about how I've integrated these messages into my life since the time of this channeling and recording. So I can't even begin to share how big the experience of the St. John's Wort message was around helping being willing to be seen and to be received because this message came through in June, 2019 
And that was when we were still going through the creation of EarthSpeak. We hadn't launched yet. In fact, we didn't launch until September. So we had June, July, August, September, three months of work still to do when I received this message. And a huge part of EarthSpeak is me being willing to step up, not just for my sake, but for sharing my embodied experience as a human who connects with the spirits of the earth And then just really actually just sharing that and sharing the messages. And in each of these messages, each of these channelings, there's also an energy that's getting shared and an energetic awareness that's getting shared. So listeners are not just receiving the words, but they're receiving the energy. And they're also receiving the experience of the possibility and validation that it's possible to connect with plant spirits and really receive guidance from the earth and from the spirit realm, from nature and from your intuition and integrate that into your life in a powerful way. So part of what my guides and what the earth and what my nature spirit friends have been really urging me to do and what I've really felt called to do for actually like 10 years and I'm finally stepping up to do it is to share this in a public way and to be someone who stands for and represents what it looks like to connect with the earth in this way and to connect with spirit in this way, to con- to include spirit in my connection with nature. And that's scary. <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest. It's really scary on so many levels. It's scary on so many levels of of like, am I going to get it right? Am I going to get it wrong? Am I going to do it right or wrong? Like there's that level. Then there's the level of like, oh my gosh, people are going to judge me. Oh my gosh, people are going to think I'm so full of myself for who am I to say that this is what Stinging Nettle said, you know? And like all these thoughts go through my head around that and and these fears of like just people seeing me. And it's been so much safer to stay hidden, especially to stay hidden behind an audio only podcast and to stay hidden behind the interviewer seat where I'm just asking other people questions. But really what's been showing up as this next level as earth speak is to show up more fully as sharing who I am and how I am embodied in this world and to share the messages and energies of my connection with nature. So St. John's wort has been a huge help in that. I, just incredible even just this the channeling of that message when it came through gave me a certain energetic sense and ease in my heart that allowed me greater confidence and willingness to just move forward and keep going with what you are now seeing as earth speak because it was not yet fully anchored and shared in the world so part of the ways that I did that were of course invoking the spirit of, of St. John's wort or St. John's wort. But I also just happened to have this really lovely flower essence from a dear friend, Moon by Moon Apothecary, you may know as, but also uh, Chanel Bergeron. And this is a St. John's wort flower essence, Hypericum perforatum. And wow, I have been using this for a while. I used it um, kind of on and off for a little while last year. But then after this message came through, I just started putting one or two drops in our water supply. I actually have a, um, I don't know how many gallons it is, but multiple gallon Berkey filter. And so it's a, a very large water filter that we just fill up and then use for several days. So every time I fill it up, I invoke the spirit of St. John's wort and then put a few drops in that water and just allow that to be part of our everyday lives and vibing that and knowing that that energetic awareness is being transferred into our bodies, into our spirits through the water we're drinking and everything we're doing with water because of this flower essence. I loved this. This was a great essence. Moon by Moon Apothecary. You can find her on Instagram. I think moon by moon apothecary.com or just look it up on Google And really, I love her medicine. It's just like she's got such a pure heart and such a way with plants and spirits. Oh, my gosh. So highly recommend this. Or if you are 
near St. John's Wort in your own life, you can make your own flower essence. It's something that actually anyone can do. You can go make one or or find someone local to you who makes a St. John's Wort flower essence and support your local herbalists and magic makers. So that's been really helpful. And then I also have from a local herbalist here, I think it's Apocalyptic Herbs is what she's called. I just finished the bottle and recycled it. So I, I'm not 100% sure. But um, she made a, or they, I don't know their gender pronouns. They made an olive oil infused, uh, a St. John's Wort infused olive oil. And I actually purchased that at the which is Confluence in San Francisco in 2018. And I used it quite a bit. I would, after a shower, I would just pour some of the oil in my hands and then invoke the spirit of St. John's wort and even oil, olive because it's an olive oil. And I would, I would rub that on my legs and just invite those spirits and those helpers and those oils to just infuse into my body, infuse into my spirit and just help bolster that willingness to be seen and that willingness to give and receive and be received and be in that relationship of reciprocity, offering my gifts, offering what I do and, and allowing that to help others and then receiving their attention and exchange and reciprocity in return. Because for me, that's been such a huge, deep, 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 deep fear and chasm, chasm, I don't know the word, C-H-A-S-M, like such a deep block in my life and I wrote about it actually in an article on our website called the witch wound so if you're interested you can check that out and learn more about that specific block and fear but St. John's Wort St. John's Wort has been really really helpful for me in moving through this and in integrating that piece of me back into myself that piece that is willing to be seen back into my life back into myself so those are very simple ways. And, and what it's looked like is that, I mean, I'm literally here standing in front of a camera talking to you about my channeling of, of plant spirits. Like, that's a huge step for me to be able to just stand here and be my silly nerd self and like share it with you. So we're here. We're doing it. This is it. Like, this is the physical. I think this is a perfectly appropriate first video solo channeled plant because it's the one that's helped me get to this point so and I find that the herbs and the plant spirits and nature spirits are so practical in that way and so helpful just providing what's the medicine and the energy for the next step and then the next step they're always showing up in exactly the right time and exactly the ways that are most needed to take the next step it's not necessarily about like, what are all the next 27,000 steps I need to take for the rest of my life to get to this ultimate point? It's no, what's the next step? So definitely grateful for that. Thank you, St. Jones Wort. <laughs> and as for nettle, wow. Nettle is such a, like, maybe we need a few hours for nettle because I have a <laughs> long relationship with nettle, but ever deepening and... Mm. Actually, I want to go back to St. Joan's Wort because St. Joan's Wort said something about connecting you into the experience. And that really made me think about dropping into an experience. And in the past, I really enjoyed using substances to drop into experience like marijuana, cannabis, smoking it or eating it or alcohol to kind of like shift out of my everyday mode and into like drop in and be in this experience, whatever it is. But actually for over a year now, I have not engaged with those substances. Actually, I've had like four glasses of champagne one at a time throughout the year. Uh, but they've been, I just made the choice to experience life without them. No shame, no blame. It was just something for me. And St. Joan's Wort has actually really been helpful in being able to drop into the experience and have that presence of that kind of altered state, but also very embodied and present, you know, being able to step outside, I don't know, the like kind of uh, nitty gritty of the everyday and just be in the experience. It's very embodied 
It's very, mm, especially with the oiling. And someone who talks a lot about oiling is Amber Magnolia Hill. She's got an awesome podcast, uh, Medicine Stories. And her brand is called her store. Her her beautiful offerings are called Mythic Medicine. And she actually sells um, St. John's wort infused oils. So you can find them from her if you're interested in trying them. And she talks a lot about oiling. And for her, she says it's such an embodying experience and such a stress reliever and such a nourishing act of self-care and tending. So I can definitely see correlations there even beyond just my own experience of St. John's wort. There's a couple things that St. John's Wort said that I really loved that I want to just repeat. One thing was to fully receive the experience of being received. Wow. Have you been willing to allow yourself to receive the experience of being received? What does that even mean to you? Do you, do you even know? Do you even have that awareness? Another thing St. John's Wort said was, it's never too late to be seen, witnessed, heard, or received. It's never too late for that. I love that because I think especially in our society, we can feel like, oh, we missed the boat. Oh, we're not already there, so it's never going to happen or whatever. And I love that. Like literally, as long as you have breath, you can be seen. There's someone who is willing and able to receive and see you in some way. And another thing they said was, notice who's waiting for you to show yourself. It doesn't have to necessarily be the whole wide world or all of Instagram or whatever. It could just be your daughter. It could just be yourself. <laughs> and that thing about that, it could just be a partner or a friend or even, you know, just who's showing up in your life and willing to receive you. They're a gift. Are you receiving that gift and allowing yourself to be received? That's huge. And that's something I'm so grateful for in my life is just the people who are drawn to whatever I am sharing and doing and are willing to receive me. I love receiving them. And we are in this beautiful loop of seeing and being seen and receiving and being received. And that's one of the best presents because it is presence. P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E. -E. Yeah. Really beautiful. As for nettle, nettle was like, open your cells. I thought that was cool. I'm like, open your cells. And honestly, I have such a regular practice of drinking nourishing herbal infusions with nettle that I feel like this is a my this this is my very tangible practice of opening my cells with these herbal infusions. And this helps keep me just, actually this helps keep me grounded. Like nettle for me is very grounding. These infusions are grounding. It helps, just helps me feel tended to. It helps me feel like I care about myself and like I'm willing and able and worthy of being nurtured and nourished. And this is such a simple, powerful practice that really brings all that. And also, nettle just brings me fascination and wonder. If you ever have the gift of being able to be in nettle's presence, especially when it's already developing seeds, and to witness the little puffs as it releases seeds or pollen, I'm not 100% sure, it releases puffs into the air, and it looks like smoke or haze or mist, and it is fascinating, and it really just enchants you it chants me and just takes me into this whole swirly whirly energy of how bonkers <laughs> I don't know why that word but bonkers <laughs> nature is and how many just genius ways of propagating life nature has come up with and how intelligent our earth is and our plants are and this planet is and that there's so much more than what we think we know and to always be paying attention and noticing so open your cells I'm still sitting with that one let me know what came up for you about that and again I invite you to share what came through for you what however you want to share it Instagram Facebook 
tag us at Earthspeak so we can see it. If you share in a post, especially, make sure you tag us at Earthspeak. And um, yeah, we would love to hear about what Stinging Nettle, what St. John's Wort had for you, what it brought up for you. So thank you so much for listening. I've really enjoyed getting to share this with you. This is kind of like a little coming out party for me. <laughs> Uh, in in this solo channeling episode I have some more solo episodes coming up I have one with an actually wild spring water I went I woke up one day and I just felt compelled to find wild spring water and collect it and so I actually did (laughs) I found it in Santa Cruz and it's I had it tested for safety and potability and it was a plus ready to go thumbs up so I went back and actually collected water and channeled it and left gratitude and offerings and just had such a beautiful experience with this wild spring water so I'll be sharing that soon and what else I know there's more um oh wow I also shared something I channeled something and just shared from sitting on top of a mountain in the redwoods in this ancient redwood forest and I just recorded something kind of spur of the moment. So that's coming up too. And we also have an awesome episode from our first guest, Damiana, who you may remember. And Damiana and I channeled a grapevine. So that's coming up as well. There's so much coming up. The limiting factor here is really that I'm the editor and editing video takes a long time. So when we have enough funding to hire an editor, then we'll have more episodes coming out more regularly. But you know, we're just taking it at our own growing pace and grateful to be here, grateful for you to be here and be sharing this and connecting. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for listening. Head over to our website, earthspeak.love to sign up for our email list, to be the first to know when the collective doors open and go check out our shop, check out what, what courses and what rituals and meditations we have in there. And really just super grateful to be here. Super grateful for you being here and for us to get to connect in this way. So much love. See you soon.